back to Craft Story Time with the Huntington Beach Public Library. My name is Mrs. Maribel. And what do you think our theme is this week, friends? Any guesses? If you guessed fish, you're right. Our theme for this week is fish. Our first story is called My Goldfish, and it's by Burrow. My goldfish is the strongest goldfish in the world. Look at that, he can lift his own tank. <laughs> when someone bullies him, my goldfish can defend himself on his own. He's afraid of nothing. If there's one thing my goldfish hates though, it's fighting kind of sad. He doesn't like to fight. For Halloween, my goldfish loves to dress up and scare everyone. What did he dress up as? A skeleton. He looks like a dead goldfish. At night, sometimes my goldfish has nightmares, but if I sing to him softly, he falls back. I've told him a hundred times not to speak to strangers, but my goldfish never listens. My goldfish has a beautiful voice. When he sings, the whole world listens. What do you think? Do you think goldfish is sing? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I think that's silly. Every time my goldfish goes on vacation, it's the same old story. He comes back sunburned. I need to put sunscreen on so he doesn't get burned. They say that goldfish don't have good memory. Mine often forgets where he lives. Where is he? Now he's in a cup of water instead of his tank. That silly little fish. On Saturday mornings, my goldfish swim, swims laps at the local pool. When he comes back, his eyes are all red. You know why that happens? Yeah, from the chlorine in the water. For the last few days, my goldfish has been acting very strange. I think he's in love. I have to change the fishbowl water every day. My goldfish really lives like a pig. Look at that dirty fishbowl. If you give lots of love to a goldfish, he can live very, very long. Mine is already 110 years old. What do you guys think? Yeah, that sounds a little crazy. I don't think they live that long. I know that one day, though, when he's really too old, my goldfish will jump out of the bowl and leave. He will finally swim with a great white fish. The end. Yay! All right, my friends. Our second book is called Ugly Fish, and it is by Cara LaRoe. Ugly Fish was ugly and big and mean. He liked swimming around his fish tank. He liked gliding in and out of his driftwood tunnel. He especially liked his briny flakes. One day, a new fish appeared in the tank. I'm Teensy Fish, said the new fish, flicking his thin tail. What's your name? I'm Ugly Fish, said Ugly Fish, and there's only room for one fish in this tank. Me! 
ugly fish chase teensy fish around the tank oh my goodness And then, jump! He ate him! Oh no! Another day, another fish appeared in the tank. Hello there, said the new fish blowing bubbles. I'm Kissy Fish. What's your name? I'm Ugly Fish, he said. And there's only one room for one fish in this tank. What do you think he said? Me! Yeah! Ugly fish chased kissy fish all around the tank. And what do you guys think happened? Let's see. And then he um, ate her. Oh my goodness. Two days later, two other fish appeared in the fish tank. We are stripy fish and spotty fish, said the new fish. What's your name? I'm ugly fish, he said. And there's only room for one fish in this tank. Me. Uh-oh. Ugly fish chased stripy fish and spotty fish around the tank. And what do you guys think happened? Let's see. <gasps> yep. Chomp. He ate them. Oh, no. He's never going to make friends like that. Ugly fish was very satisfied with himself. He swam around his tank, blowing bubbles. He glided in and out, in and out, in and out of his driftwood tunnel. He gulped down his special briny flakes. But after a while, the tunnel didn't seem so fun anymore, and the special briny flakes no longer tasted very special. Ugly fish was glum, which is another word of saying like he was sad. Why do you think he felt sad? Yeah, maybe because he was lonely now. He didn't have anybody to chase around. I wish I had someone to play with, he thought. Chasing those fish was fun. If only I hadn't eaten them. At last, a new fish appeared in the tank. Ugly fish blew bubbles. His fins perked up. Hello there. I'm Ugly Fish. What's your name? I'm Shiny Fish, said the fish. Welcome to my tank, said Ugly Fish, flicking his fin tail. This is my driftwood tunnel. Nice, said the Shiny Fish. And these are my special briny flakes, said Ugly Fish. Very nice, said Shiny Fish. I wish I had a tank as nice as this. There's plenty of room for both of us, said Ugly Fish. Do you like to play? Oh, I like to play, said Shiny Fish, and then I like to eat. That makes two of us, said Ugly Fish. Guess again, said ugly, said shiny fish. Uh-oh, what do you think's gonna happen? Let's see. Ah, so ugly fish got his wish. A new friend to play with. Uh-oh. Chomp! And shiny fish got his wish too. A nice new home. All to himself. Er. Uh Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> the end. All right, friends, our last book is called Big Fish, Little Fish. And it's a Disney step into reading book. All right, Big Fish, Little Fish. Dory is little. Fish above, fish below. Dory is lost. One fish, many rays. Dory misses her family. Near fish, 
far fish. Dory swims away. Sick fish, healthy fish. Marlin goes with Dory. He gets sick on that tortoise shell. One fish down, two fish down, one fish up. Dory is caught. Oh no. Wet fish, dry Hank. Dory needs Hank. Dory on top, Hank on the bottom. Dory and Hank find their way. Where do they find their way? Yeah, in the fish rehabilitation center. Fish inside, fish outside. Dory finds her friends. Big fish, little fish, Dory finds her family. Home at last. The end. All right, my friends. For this craft, we're gonna be making a fish out of a paper plate. Are you guys ready? All right, let's go. All right, friends, for this craft, we're going to need a paper plate, some paint dotters, glue stick, scissors, and some googly eyes. If you don't have paint dotters, you can substitute with markers, color pencils, crayons, or um, even some watercolors if you wanted to. Just make sure you don't get your plate too wet. Uh, but I'm going to use paint dotters because they're easier um, and faster to use. Um, and then if you don't have googly eyes, you can always draw your eyes on too. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out a triangle out of our plate. This is going to be the mouth of our fish because we're making a fish craft today, a paper plate fish. This triangle that you cut out is going to be the mouth. And this triangle that we cut out, we're gonna put glue right on the back side of it. Okay, and then this is going to be our tail, just like that. Next, we're going to use the paint dotters to color our fish. I'm going to go with teal first. And I'm going to start over here with my teal. You know what? I thought we were going to need two. We only need one eye. Okay. One googly eye only. And there is our paper plate fish. If you guys like, you guys could also decorate the other side. 
and then you can have a two-sided fish. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll do one side over here, and since I got an extra eye, let's go ahead and decorate this side. I'm going to go ahead and do the same color. I'm going to do the teal. So there's my other side and now I'm going to grab my other googly eye kind of make sure you dry this a little bit because it's going to be a little wet and so if it's somewhat wet your eye will not stick on very well so let's kind of dry it off a little bit make sure that side is not too wet we're going to peel our eye And we're going to kind of feel where the other eye is about here. And then we'll do that eye as well. All right, friends, and there you have it. Your paper plate fish. It's going to be a little wobbly, a little soft because it's wet from if you use paint otter. So just let it dry a little bit for about, I'd say about an hour or so, and it should, as it dries up, it gets a little harder, so it'll be easier to play with. So let it, give it some drying time, but here it is. It is our paper plate fish. All right, okie dokie everyone. I hope you had a great time making this fish, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.